today is to factor the difference of two cubes. The difference of two cubes. The general form is a cubed minus b cubed. When you factor it out, it is in the form of a minus b times the quantity a squared plus ab plus b squared. First example, very simple x cubed minus y cubed. If it is really a difference of two cubes, then you can find the cube root of each one. What would you multiply by itself three times in order to get x cubed? That would be x. So according to the formula, you would have to put in x first and then minus whatever the cube root of the second term is, and that's clearly going to be y. And then after that point, whatever the cube root of the first part was, you must put that in the next quantity as a square. So it goes down as x squared. And then it's addition throughout. The middle term is the two cube roots multiplied together. Remember, this was the cube root, x and y. So you simply multiply them together and put them in the middle. And then you finish it off with the square of the cube root. Remember the cube root was y from the back end. What you need is y squared for the back end on the final answer. This is the answer. On this problem we have two cubes and we know that because 8 is a perfect cube x to the third, a perfect cube. We have a minus sign. 27 is a perfect cube. And y to the third is a perfect cube. If you don't know the perfect cubes, you must write these down now. It starts with 1, and then 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, and if you can go up that high, you'll be doing well. <clears throat> so according to the formula, in our first quantity, we have to find the cube root of the first term. The cube root of 8 is 2. And the cube root of x cubed is x. And then you need minus the cube root of the second half. The cube root of 27 is 3 and the cube root of y to the third is y. Now the second half has all plus signs in it. We start off with from the general formula, a squared. That means whatever this is here, you square it. So it's 4x squared. And then, for the middle term, you multiply these two together. This and this. 2x times 3y is 6xy. Then you square the second term here, 3y, now becomes 9y squared. This is the final answer. The uh, formula should be b minus c, and then you're going to have b squared plus bc plus c squared. Try this one. The cube root of x cubed is x, and the cube root of 64 is 4. <clears throat> so we start with x minus 4, and then we square this one to get x squared, plus these two multiplied together, 4x, and then on the back end, this squared. This is the answer. On this problem, first check to see if there is a difference of two cubes. Yes, it is subtraction. Is 8 a perfect cube? Yes. Yes. Is a cubed a cube? Yes. Yes. 
is 125 yes. and be cubed. Yes. So now step one, you have to figure out what the cube root is of 8, and that's going to be 2. The cube root of a cubed is simply a. And then subtract the cube root of 125 is 5, and the cube root of b cubed is b. Now move on to the second half. For the first part here, you need this squared. So 2a squared is 4a squared. And then add to that this one and this one multiplied together. That would be 10ab. And for the back end, you need this one squared. That would be 25b squared. On this one, this is a perfect cube, and so is this one, so the first half is a perfect cube. We have minus, and 27 is a perfect cube, and so is a cubed. The cube root of x cubed is x, and the cube root of y cubed is y. Then the cube root of 27 is 3, cube root of a cubed is a. On to the second half you need to square this to put it here in the first spot. That would be x squared y squared. Now multiply this by this to put it in the middle. That would be 3axy and you put them in alphabetical order. And then on the back end you need this squared to go here. That would be 9a squared.